13 and a half years ago, on October 17, 2010, Blizzard dropped the cinematic trailer for World of Warcraft Cataclysm. It introduced us to Deathwing, a massive dragon that would spread its wings over the world of Azeroth, leaving a spectacular trail of fire and smoke. So looking back at how ridiculously good this smoke simulation still looks after all these years, I want to see how this can be recreated with today's technology. Because back then, smoke simulation was a pain and you would need to use an entire render farm for hours or even days to get a good result. But what if I told you that today, using only one computer, a single artist can simulate detailed smoke in real time because of Embergen? So what Embergen does differently is that it allows you to simulate smoke on the GPU instead, which changes the game completely because it's so much faster and so much more intuitive. So I reached out to JangaFX that makes Embergen and I just asked if they would like to sponsor this video and they said yes. So now I've got access to this state-of-the-art fluid simulation software and I'm going to try to recreate this trail of fire and smoke that Deathwing leaves behind. Okay, let's have a closer look at this original simulation. The YouTube video is only in HD, but I'm gonna upscale it and then we can use Blender to stabilize it to get rid of the camera shake. So let's have a look at this one first. I'm gonna track this cloud, I think. That just looks so cool with the shockwave there. Look at how thick that smoke is. It feels like a slow motion explosion. Very chaotic, but at the same time, still very believable movement. I love this so much. Okay, so yeah, this is my favorite part. Let's stabilize this as well. Yeah, so now we can see this without the camera movement and oh, you can actually see that they're just morphing the clouds here. It's not a simulation. Yeah, the camera shake does a lot in this shot. Look at how these clouds are morphing. But this is really nice. This lighting here that they've added that just adds so much depth. Okay, so what I like the most is how this thick smoke just cuts through the air. That's the effect I want to recreate. I don't think I'm going to make the wings flap like that. I just want Deathwing to glide through the air and leave this juicy trail of smoke. And then this castle here, I think I want to use that as well. I could be wrong, but is this castle, is that Gilneas? I've seen like I've seen these windows in Gilneas. I might be wrong, this is probably Stormwind. By the way, look at that. Down here, you can see right here, the original simulation is actually clipping the domain. They didn't make the boundaries big enough, look at that. And this is not because I've used AI upscaling when we're looking at this. You can actually see it in the original cinematic as well. But I didn't notice until pixel peeping. So, I mean, if it works, it works. Okay, so we're going to need a 3D model of Deathwing. Let's see if we can use the version of Deathwing that is in the game, World of Warcraft. So I'm going to use this WoW export tool. I'm just going to search for Deathwing. Hmm. It feels quite low poly though. And I'm guessing that these alpha channels might be difficult to extract. Let's just export it and see if we can open it up in Blender. Oh, there, yeah, that's very low poly. That is kind of, oh, and it's not rigged as well. Wow. Yeah, that is very difficult to use. It would be so time consuming to rig this and set this up. It has loose parts as well. At least let me see if the textures are working. Oh, it looks a lot better with textures though, but you know, it's not rigged and it's not animated. You could probably hack it with something very, like proportional editing. I don't know. And the wings would need to be bigger as well, I think. Like a lot bigger. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. I at least want to see if there are some other alternatives. Okay, so there's another model of Deathwing in-game where he's a rideable mount. So let me just log in and ask if someone has it. This guy's gotta have it. Do you have the Deathwing mount? Hmm. Oh, this guy says he has it. Let's see it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. Oh, someone actually has it in the general chat. Yeah, that's the one, but that doesn't really look like the cinematic. It kind of looks like a, I mean, it looks like a game asset, which is what it is. <laughs> that is actually really cool. Although I feel like it doesn't look as high quality as I would expect. I mean, in the game, it looks great, but I think in a rendered video, I don't think this would have the look I'm looking for. Wait, isn't there also a Deathwing model in the Cataclysm login screen? Yeah. Okay, so this is, I guess, the third option. <laughs> Maybe even more low poly. It looks really evil though. Yeah, this had definitely has the vibe I want. But I think it's still too low poly. Okay, so here's what we got to choose from. We have the in-game model of Deathwing. We got the Deathwing mount. And then we got Deathwing from the Cataclysm login screen. But there is one more version of Deathwing that we haven't talked about. In another Blizzard game, Heroes of the Storm, you can play as Deathwing. And this model looks amazing. I love the details on this. The proportions are a little bit off, like the wings are really small. And when it's walking around, I feel like it looks a little bit more like a big dog and less like a dragon. So that's gonna be a challenge. But yeah, I think this model is a lot more similar to the Deathwing we see in the cinematic. So yeah, this is it. Okay, so now the question is, can I extract this model from the game? 
So let me try that. Okay, so I found this software called Cask Viewer, which should work with all versions of Heroes of the Storm. So I managed to extract it to Blunder. This looks different, but it feels really good. And look at this, it's even rigged. Hang on, let me just have a look here. It even comes with the animation. That is fantastic. Now, let me see if I can import the textures as well. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at this. That looks so good though. That is an amazing model. This just feels so much more similar to the cinematic. Look at this big jaw. Even the tongue is rigged. I think I need to scale up the wings a little bit. I'm just gonna scale up one of the wings first so we can see uh, the difference. That's surprisingly efficient actually. Okay, yeah, so let's do that. Let's scale up both these wings. So I'm gonna take these two and then these and then these. Let me just delete all these keyframes and give this a better pose. Yeah, I think the scale looks better now. It actually looks like these wings could generate enough lift. So let's just add some subtle animation to these wings. I'm just gonna add some random noise to some of these bones. Yeah, just some random noise. Yeah, except for the head though. I like the animation that the head has. So the wind is going this direction, right? So I feel like both the arms and legs are being pushed back by the wind. Yeah, and maybe it's a little bit closer to the body as well. Okay, so now it actually feels like it's gliding through the air a little bit. And I also think this wind animation is gonna make the smoke simulation a lot more interesting. And then for the environment, I'm using an HDRI from Polyhaven of these really nice guys. I feel like it makes the air so much more crisp. Oh, and one more thing before we export, we have to paint where we want the flames to emit. So I'm just gonna set this to green and then I'm going to paint with red. So yeah, I'm just painting where the flames are going to be. Okay, sweet. So now let's go File, Export, FBX. And let's fire up Embergen. So if you haven't tried Embergen before, here's what you need to know. It uses a node-based workflow, so it feels more like a sandbox than a traditional 3D software. So when you do changes to the parameters in these nodes, you can see the change happen in real time in the simulation. So to get you started, Embergen has a lot of these presets. You got all kinds of explosions, fire, magic spells, particles, smoke, dust, tornadoes, and all of these presets are available in the free trial of Embergen as well. So if you want to just poke around and see what happens, that can be really valuable. At least that's how I got started with Embergen. So I'm not going to use a preset today, I'm just going to click new project to get the default startup file. Okay, so now let's import the Deathwing animation. Let's connect this to the emitter. Oh, nice. Okay, there are a lot of things I want to change. I don't want this to rise. But first of all, we need to prevent the face from burning. We only want the wings. Oh, that's inverted. Hang on. Perfect. So now I want to turn off the gravity here. Oh, it's going to be so cool when this comes flying like this. Okay, so we have to make a choice here. Do we want to move this forward? Or do we want to just add wind so the smoke goes backwards? I think I want to add wind because that just makes it a little bit easier to frame this later yeah i think that's gonna be easier let's make a line force field let's rotate it by minus 90 degrees let's make the trail just a little bit longer i want it to be thicker though i want more smoke let's increase the smoke oh that is <laughs> that's a very thick smoke <laughs> yes oh it's too thick. It's too thick. More fire as well. Wow. It's like a carpet. Look at this. That's crazy thick. Can you imagine this guy just flying across your world? That's gotta be really scary. See this angle. That's really cool. Oh. I just disabled all the noise and it just looks very soft. It's kind of trippy. Okay, wait, let's take a step back and think about the physics here for a second. How would flames of this size actually behave in real life? I mean, this is a big flying dragon. And with wings that are this big, they should create a lot of lift. But that lift should push the smoke down, right? So my question is, shouldn't Deathwing get wingtip vortices? When you have a lot of lift and there's fog or clouds, you can see these really satisfying swirly patterns generated by large aircraft wings. So what if we add that to this simulation? So first of all, we're going to need a line force field because we can add some twist strength to it. That looks crazy. And then let's move it over here, I think. But the problem is that the wings are moving around a lot. 
Okay, so I want to attach it to the end here, and the bone is called bone arm finger A. And then I can parent this line force field to those bones. Okay, so now we got one force field. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks so, so good. Let's make the fall of radius bigger. It looks exactly like the large airplanes. Okay, let me do the other wing as well. Now let's look at this. That looks sick. This looks just a lot more interesting than I thought it would. Okay, so I've slowed it down a little bit, and I think that really helps with the scale. And I've increased the voxel count a lot as well. And now we got this extremely long domain, and we're currently at 14 gigabytes of VRAM. So I'm using the RTX 4090. So yeah, this is a huge scene. Look at these details that you get from above here. Can you imagine this thing comes flying towards you? That would be crazy. So I'm going to export this as a VDB sequence so I can render it in Blender with some beautiful ray traced volumetrics. Okay, so here we got the smoke sequence imported to Blender. Let me just see what the default shader looks like. Yeah, I want this to be thicker and I also want to add the flames. Let's just increase the density here. Okay, so that's the smoke pretty much dialed in. I might tweak it a little bit more. Now I want to add the flames. And I think I've actually found the secret for a realistic flame that fits with the theme for the Cataclysm expansion. So it starts here, it goes up, and then it flattens out. But right here, it starts going down again. Nani? Okay, that's it. When you're watching this, my PC has been rendering for over a week straight, so let's have a look at the final result. So I haven't really made an animation like this before that is so directly connected to a specific video game or franchise. And I hope this goes without saying, but I'm not affiliated with or endorsed by Blizzard in any way for this project. I just think the simulation work they did for Cataclysm Cinematic is truly unique, and Deathwing is such a cool looking dragon. So let me know in the comments if there's any franchise or universe you would like me to explore or recreate or take inspiration from in an upcoming video. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. So, this project would definitely not have been possible without Embergen. So, once again, a big thanks to JangaFX for sponsoring this video. There's a link in the description if you want to try Embergen for free. The two weeks free trial has all the features, so you can just download and have fun with it literally today or tomorrow or whenever you like. For me, this software has been a complete game changer for realistic fire and smoke simulations, and also experimenting in real time with physics principles that can be difficult to visualize. So that's it. If you watched the entire video, I appreciate that. Thanks for watching.